Welcome back. Um, let's take a look at our games from round two of the Blitz Champs Collins Coalition Open Round Robin. So I'm playing in group Dingo, um, which meant that round one I got to play against tournament organizer and Scrabble Master uh, Evans Clinchy. And round two, I had the fortune of being able to play um, 2014 U.S. champion uh, Conrad Bess Bouchard, which is just extraordinary. Um, so I think these are listed in reverse chronological order. So let's take a look at the first one in the list, or the first one chronologically. Um, here we go. Wow. Holy moly. Oh, Wogles has been updated. Please refresh at your convenience. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. Oh, apologies. Um, um, there may be noises. Uh, let me enable noises through the interface. There we go. So, um, yeah, I timed out this game. Most of the games in this match, it felt like I timed out or I was on the verge of timeout the entire time. Um, but yeah, we'll handle this one play at a time. I'm sure there's lots of material to be reviewed. Oh, and since we're doing game review, ordinarily I would put the board as large as possible, but I can't get the analyzer to show on anywhere such that it would be accessible anyway. Um, yeah, Conrad played first. Uh, Vouch. Now, I admit, I don't know all my fives, especially not Colin's fives, but um, I trust my opponent's word knowledge for something on play one. Um, ironically, if he'd held the V, that would have been... Uh, an interesting strategy, although I happen to have a V, and if I could have guessed that this is a word, yeah, I could have done a crossplay. But I don't think there's other letters you can stick in front of ALK, and I think ALK is a valid play. On the two-column view, it's behind the scorecard. Um, Right, so you're saying I have to scroll down to get to it, or it's behind the scorecard? What does behind mean in this case? Can I dismiss the scorecard somehow? I'd love to use this analyzer. Oh! Oh, here it is! Oh! Oh, that is fantastic. Yeah, this works much better for streaming. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. So, this will take tremendous patience for my audience to bear with me through this. There's multiple ways that this could go. One would be that um, I spend a long time searching for the words. The other would be that I heavily rely on the analyzer to point out things that I missed. And I fear that my audience might excoriate me over this, but I'm... I don't really want to immediately flip on the analyzer in every position. Um, now, granted, here I have a leave that... Well, I should give my thoughts on every position before I try to use the analyzer is the point. Um, and thankfully, the analyzer has an on-off switch, so they've thought ahead about this sort of thing. So, um, yeah. I don't know if ALK by itself would have been a valid play, and holding the V could have been interesting, but here I happen to hold a, another V, which would have been, yeah, against anybody else, uh, that would have been a risky play. Um, but here, like, I want to play a word like Vivo, but I don't have an O. Um, I want to play, I'm not sure if Vav, I forget. Um, but the best possible place to play would be through the double-double if there were a strong play here. Like, I have Ravine. Um, I forget exactly what I played here, but I'm pretty sure it was not Ravine. Was it? 
naive or oh ravine would have been better um but i'm sure there's other things too here so i wish i could stop the page from scrolling on 720p every time i do that but okay um yeah so sadly like i know words with a v and a d i don't really know words with four vowels in this combination so well verve and varve are very useful words to know wow yeah verve i've seen played quite a few times actually um so i guess to find a word like verve or varve i've got to look at both ends of my rack here because the r and the v are on this one side and the a the vowels are on this side so unless i'm like shuffling the rack uh it's scrolling the page again on me could it please not could it please not yeah uh so i don't know how to fix the page so it doesn't auto scroll when i hit these buttons but yeah verve and varve are good words to know um yeah uh, in terms of parallel plays, like the C really cuts down. Like, there's no way to build a cross on the C. And since I'm not aware of a bingo, there might be one with ravine plus an E. Um, but yeah, if I had one, it would play either above or below. And depending on what it ends in, you'd consider um, playing it above or below to try to deny access to the triple word score. Um, also, it seems very unlikely that, like, building up or down to either triple in the center columns is going to happen here with this combination of letters. Um, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. So I've given some thoughts about this position. Let's take a look at what the analyzer suggests. <laughs> if the analyzer does make a suggestion. Yeah, Vervian, Barb, uh, Vervian, uh, or Vervain. Um, leaving an E has a pretty high equity. Um, yeah, I don't know if that takes an S or not, but Viver, uh, Revive? I don't like that. Well, hmm. In one way, I kind of like it because this upper left corner tends to go unused in my games. Uh, I'd like to see words build out everywhere across the board to maximize the variance. So something like that um, would appeal to me. Um, what else? Yeah, verve. A, ave, ave, vervin, naive. Oh, wait, is this not where I played it? I'm pretty sure that is where I played that. Navy? That's a good one to know if you're in a bind. A vine? Also good to... Okay. So, oh. Oh, that's interesting, too. Yeah. I, I like revive here because it builds toward the upper left corner. Um... Good point. Yes. Keeping a solitary vowel doesn't really benefit me here. Um, yeah. RE is a very strong lead. I'm sorry. Um, uh, let's go back to naive. ARE is still a strong lead. As opposed to AE. Yeah. Uh, how naive of me. <laughs> um yeah so avine is bad because it slots the e next to a double letter score oh oh right yeah lately i've been so uh the thing i learned or best appreciated for my first round game is that there's a lot of ways to score points that don't involve um scoring bingos like every other turn um even one game where i managed to score a bingo it, it was not um victorious for me 
But yeah, this, um, yeah, so don't put an E next to the double letter score. That makes sense. Yeah, like here they put a C next to the double letter score. Ah, wrong button, wrong button. Um, so they played Hap. So this is uh, Conrad's style, where he will close the board and control what gets opened, what gets closed. Um, and unless you've got the word knowledge to uh, outrun him, it's going to be rough. So, yeah. Um, here, I'm sure there's... Um, so the first thing that occurs to me is building hay and out something out this way. Um, uh, during the game, I wanted to play something like IV with the Y here, but the YI is not valid. Building anything through the V next to the I is difficult. Um, I mean, maybe something ending in EVA might be... Well, AI is not acceptable either. Um... Yeah, there's just no building down through that. So you have to like build th across through the V, build something. It's really dangerous to build through the R here because you're so close to um, the triple and both triple word scores. Um, so yeah, building across is the most logical thing. Oh, AI is good. My mistake. All right. Um, yeah. I'm going to be drilling more and more and practicing more over time. I've drilled the twos many times. When I'm looking at it on the word wall, I get it correct, but it tells me how many times to keep going, or it'll just... In this case, if it puts the letters AI, I'm, I know it's certainly not IA, so I get the right answer, but that doesn't help. Yeah. Um, so AI... Is valid. So yeah, building something ending in VA um, would be a way to try to build upward here. Yeah, I want to get rid of the Y for sure, and the duplicated N, and uh, the duplicated A. So yeah, A and Y is something I want to get rid of. Um, you're right, that's the priority here. So something like Yarn even would be a reasonable play just to get out of that mess. Um, not that it's even that bad. Yes, yeah, I'm sure it will help. <laughs> Yin or Yenta is a place... Oh, okay. I've seen both of those come down several times in the past few days. Um, so, or nay D11, all right, D11... All right, N E A R, yeah. Um, that that all makes sense. Yin probably better. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, that's not too risky. And sort of blocks access to the double word score. You don't need to actually take all the colored squares, do you? Um, often it's sufficient just to block access to them. As a beginner, I just want to play through all the red, all the pink. I don't really care too much about the consequences, and but yeah, it makes sense playing right above or right below it. it can sometimes be a lot better. Does our analyzer suggest any cool stuff that we've missed? Well, I'm not finding that one, but also that's crazy. That's crazy. You don't want to do that. Um, yeah. So Yin is probably uh, best here. Oh, Nay. Yeah, Nay over here. That's nice. Yeah. That's the best dump for it. Um, but Nay also plays here. Uh but otherwise, like, all the strategic... No, you don't do this either. All your strategic considerations make a lot of sense. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, assumes no response. In some way, it's it's quite courageous. All right, Elf. Now, I think Elf takes an H, doesn't it? But I don't have an H. Um, maybe I'm wrong. But yeah, here I got the Q, and I see there's not going to be a U showing up anytime soon, so my priority is just dump the Q. Uh, oh, it does take a hook. Okay. Um, yeah, so my priority here is just dump the Q. Uh, unfortunately, like, Qatar is a country name, so you can't do that. Um, but yeah, I think I just played QAT right here. I don't think I could have done better. Oh, Alpha! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, uh, QAT with Alpha would be reasonable. Um, assuming, of course, that QAT doesn't extend easily into the triple word score, and I don't think it does. Um, yeah. I can also play negate there if I want to score more and then risk holding on to the Q. Since, yeah, that was the other thing. It's like, I felt pressured into dumping the Q, but I was not super happy leaving the leave either. Um, that said, I didn't really see much happening on this board in any event. I didn't, but um, yeah, leaving so much equity uh unclaimed is yeah this this scores a lot of points actually that's nice um hmm. it's interesting i mean we're already down so taking a bit of a risk uh versus holding out to g-e-n-e -E or e-e-g-n um yeah agent might be a more reasonable way uh, not scoring quite as much but holding on to an e just in case i get screwed by whatever i draw uh i like this play it closes access to both triples and the double word score um but probably conrad's got something amazing he's gonna do regardless of what i do but yeah i think this is the best defensive play uh, although, like, it does allow access to this triple word, uh, letter score. Um, okay, yeah, that's actually, that's a good point. And the other thing we observe is, like, um, well, no, we're playing the same number of consonants and the same number of vowels. It just looks spooky seeing all these balls at the top of the bag. But, um, that's fine. Yeah, this triple letter score is not going to score two different ways, so it's not that dangerous. Yeah, I mean, fix or something like that, but it's not that bad. It's not like they are going to dump it and score it twice by dumping it. Um... Yeah, so that's interesting. That, um, hmm. my concern is the thing that beginners always panic about. But it's not like you're gonna, um, get a bingo anyhow. Um, the only other thing that's slightly negative about negate is that theoretically, what was my opponent's last play? Um, it was elf. Um, in theory, they could draw bingo, drop it down here, and I guess I would score the Q right next to it, probably. Um, it wouldn't be that bad. It'd be unfortunate, but they're going to bingo in almost all cases here anyway, because there's nay accepting it uh, S over here. We can open a second bingo lane here. Yeah, it's fine. Nothing to be afraid of. Um, yeah, I like that. Negate's pretty good. Uh, 
Oh, I actually played this down here. I thought I played it up here. Okay. Wow. Uh, how did he respond to this? And, like, how are you supposed to respond to this? Dwell? I think it's what he played. Or dwelt or something. He played something across here, which is amazing. And just, like, really stunned me. Um, yeah, that's cool. What did he play? Twad. Um. Hmm. Is this one of these moments where we both got very excited in a Blitz game? Uh, what does Hant mean? I wonder. Um. Hant. To haunt. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, during the game, I that's what I was feeling. Uh, that this had a meaning. Um, that's, that's a good one to know. Yeah, theoretically, yeah. I want an open game. Because theoretically, I could draw well and play some awesome bingos. And he could failed to catch up. Uh, volatility is really all I've got going for me here. And I'm one letter away from Figment. I got Figment, which does not play. So, yeah, shutting this down uh, just played into his strategy, and now I'm in trouble. Um, so the Q blocks a lot of this here. Um, yeah, so we want to dump a F, a G, a M, one of the E's somehow. Um, it's really hard to do. Um, I mean, that's our marching order. I don't really see a way to do it. So, um, I know I mentioned... Yeah. Yeah, so far I've been playing okay. Um, I've not made any terrible blunders just yet. Um, Menj. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, so burning both E's is not something to fear. There's a ton of vowels still back uh, left in the bag. That wouldn't have even occurred to me. Um, I'm in this situation where I just got rid of a Q. I don't want to burn up all my vowels, but it's okay. If I play enough tiles, I'm certain to get at least one vowel. Oh, that's... yeah. I was looking over here. Which would be a crazy place to put menge. This menge makes a lot of sense. Um... What's the other one? Beam? GNT? Eh. Interesting. <laughs> FT is a far better, or it's a slightly better lead than GNT. Man, I like my ING suffix. As a beginner, I like having GN as an insurance policy against I. Um, but uh, you're right that, like, equity-wise, this is best. Um, can also play Meng Yam D. Or Day. Uh, let's see. Sorry, it's taking me a second to process this. Yeah, I think this is more beginner-friendly. Uh, just the GN combination with this many eyes still in the bag. Um, not that there's a great place to put a word ending in ING, but, um, oh, I guess the other thing to consider is that this sticks a vowel directly next to the triple letter score. Um, so we're setting up, up a parallel play here accidentally. This, uh, at least would not encourage a very high-scoring parallel play. Uh, yeah. Um... 
Um, Meng, oh, I see, M-E-N-G. Okay, I don't know why that was taking me forever to process, like, putting the M right here. Um, yeah. Oh, a Z, oh my goodness. Yeah, wow. And I had in mind just some arbitrary consonant, but yes, Z-E is a big threat. Um... Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, anything else exciting that we missed? Fem, fag, he, or I'm sorry, fe. Um, yeah, nothing too exciting. That's cute. If you want to just like build up this big block of letters that nobody can ever uh, build a parallel play on, sure, that's doable. Uh, it's not great. Instead, I played... Yeah. I played this. I got rid of an F and an E. But, um... Yeah. There were better plays to be had. Playing the M off makes sense. Uh, Olive. Yeah. <laughs> yes yeah all right well thank you very much for your support i appreciate it yeah and best of luck on your endeavor uh there's a cool play here uh now a few weeks back against hasty bot i played swagman which is awesome now, i see m-e-n there's got to be... I don't have, like, Stageman or something, but... Gu Gutsman. What is it? <laughs> uh... Oh. Not a word. Dang. Oh! Wait. Wait. Oh my goodness. Really? Alright. Uh... Gotta keep trying. Um... <laughs> I see, like... The O is the best shot for me to do something cool. Um, so, hmm. like, unless well, Twad being an invalid play would not accept another letter afterward. Uh, the F on row fourteen is kind of interesting. Um. Hmm. Mm hmm. Thinking. I mean, I should shuffle the tiles. The S would want to trend toward the end unless um, we see something. Maybe there's something through. Hmm. So, oh, really? Solid. Okay. That I would not have guessed. That, uh, that's surprising. Um,. Well, certainly you're looking for something more exciting than gums. Um. <laughs> Pretty nutty play. Oh my goodness. Um. Jeez. What in the world could we have? We got nuts. Uh, nutmegs? Jeez. That's insane. Oh, man. Dang. That would have been extraordinary to drop in game one. <laughs> 
Yeah, I like common suffixes. I don't think this is a common suffix in this case, but, um, yeah, trying to sound out the word or the tiles sometimes helps. Um, yeah, you always see Gutsman. Oh, Gutsman is valid. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Makes Mustang. Nutmegs. Yeah. How does this, where does this even play? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Well, that increases the variance quite a bit. All right. Wait. All right, so this is not listing. Let's see, a gutsman is not accepted here, but nutmegs is awesome. Yeah, like I was thinking manje, mungiest, something like that, but, um, yeah, that's awesome. Arguments would have been fun. Far arguments. <laughs> An argument that's gone really far. Mungs. Munges. Oh, munges is taken. This is Mungs. Wow. All right. What? G E U M. Is that Spencer or something? Like, I don't know. Um, Musit? Muse accepts a T afterward. Meng. There's a lot of fours and fives to know. But yeah, they all play the M. That's interesting to observe. Well, it makes sense with the... If you're going to play something um, with a U or an E, it's probably going to involve the M here. Um, to create a strong, secure password through character substitution... Oh. Wait. Did I know this word? It's reminding me, yeah, no, I've actually used Munch before, haven't I? Wait, no, I'm thinking of something else. There's some English word to create a strong, secure password through substitution. Yes. Yes, okay, yeah, I have used Munch before because it is used in database sanitization. That's how I know it. It's not a common U.S. English word, but it is one for computer science. So, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. I should not be so surprised. But nutmegs and solive. Um, if I had put this down, oh, accusations would fly. <laughs> Not immediately, but, like, if I could keep up that sort of thing against uh, Conrad, you'd be like, what is going on? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've seen Nibble, although I've never seen it with a Y. That's crazy. That's cool, I guess. All right, so we played this. Um, we played a really sad word because I didn't know solive. Um, this is so sad. Uh, and by this point, I'm under a minute, so I'm panicking already. Itemize is delightful. Now, we're saying twad is not a word. Yeah, so itemize would have to play here. Um, yeah, it would have been... <laughs> oh, imagine. Just imagine letting Twad go, knowing that it's a phony. And then later on, when he tries to stick the S-hook, denying it and taking the spot. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just imagine that. Uh, I'm sure worse things have happened in actual play. Um, so yeah, he plays twads. Um, 
and itemize. It's funny, so later on in the series I get accustomed to challenging his words quite a bit. Here I didn't do so. Um, hmm. Here, I mean, what am I going to do? A parallel play hitting the double word score would be great, but IT does not suggest parallel play opportunities with TTU. Uh, it'd be great to play a T and a U and a G, and preferably a D, but, um, well, ED is a nice suffix. Holding ED might make some sense, but GUT's got to get played. So it's just a question of how or where, and I've not made things easy for myself. Um, Grandfest, Grandmaster Mac Miller, who was, I believe, streaming the other day, or participating in a webcam on a stream. Um, yeah, he once played Moonface against another great player as a desperation play, and it was accepted. Oh, wow. Later in the game, he was even more desperate and tried Moonfaced. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> the stories. The stories that you could tell. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, you gotta play the game. I think it'd be interesting if eventually um, the... Uh, I mean, you can't do it with the official tool, but if you somebody eventually created a bot that recognized the value of desperation plays, that'd be delightful. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, let me do that for you, though. Let me do that for you. Now, usually I'd be doing that on the occasion that they've actually been here, but anyway. Um, yeah. Oh, that's Mac. Oh, I see. Very cool. Uh, yeah, I will have to go follow them. Um, I have seen them around a few times. Still getting onto the scene, so still learning uh, who's who. But yeah, let me... Um, I don't know if they're actively doing things at the moment, but where's the follow button? How do I use this Twitch thing? <laughs> My goodness. Okay, there's the follow button. That works. Cool. Um, yeah, so... Oh, if I had another N, I could spell something like gunned, but I don't. Um, I guess dung up here might be a decent play, even though it doesn't burn a T. Oh, wait, tongue is also valid. Or, am I thinking of... Something, a tine of a fork is what I'm thinking of, not a tongue. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's the whole world here. Um, oh my god. That is delightful. Wow. Alright, gutted. Gutted would have been very nice. The three parallel plays with some letters that I'm not even trying to burn, and then the gut that I was trying to use. Gut it also plays on the left. Dung. Oh! I did see the idea of playing dung with the I here, but this, the double, playing multiple plays, didn't consider it. It's probably a terrible thing leaving that right below there and close to the other triple is not a very smart move but that this is even possible if this g were some other letter this could be considered but not here uh gut that's clever wow tendu well we're not finding tendu it's a five yeah <laughs> well, it's also not that dangerous um yeah, the ING is really the only dangerous thing. And we're already down 100 points, so we can't be too afraid here to take some chances. 
but wow, that would have been nice. I was looking like, here's a tile, here's, look at all the colorful tiles. And trying to figure out how do I play my letters, and yeah, this, not the easiest thing to find. You can find duet, you can find ing, if you're looking at the i. Um, so, strong players will probably find this, um, given enough time. Yeah, in Blitz, who knows, but that would have been extraordinary. Yeah, instead I blocked the triple, but not really, because my opponent has an S. So this is a pretty ineffective block that didn't even use up my U. Um, yeah, so... Uh, at this point I'm just panicking. I can't be too critical of anything I did at this point. Um, well, I've got 44 seconds. There's 36 tiles left. I could have spent 10 seconds on this move. I want to play something like Routine, Routed, something like that. Um, I don't have an N, so Routine's not there. I was upset uh, seeing the S. Uh, just tilted a bit. Um... Yeah, I don't have letters for, like, Erudite. Um, I don't have Adroit with an A. So, uh, I don't have Outred. It, it's just, I've got four vowels, so unless I know the bingo, it's not happening. Outride. Uh, yeah. So, Outride is the bingo, and it does not seem to play anywhere. That's just too bad. And this whole time, an S in this column. Anyway. Uh, well, so he drew this S. He drew this S. I played an S here stupidly. Um, but would have had to know that Solid was valid. Or could have had to guess, honestly. Um... Yeah, I come from a chess world where after the game, um, I will criticize every mistake I made in the game. In chess, the, hmm. I don't know, the only way I get better is being extremely critical. Um, it's not a constructive mindset for other games, and it's not really that constructive for chess either. So, Outrides the Bingo. Uh, we found several ideas, but it's just really difficult to play on this board. Um, like, there's an O, there's an I, here's a U. Really, the M right next to the triple is my easiest place to play, unless I know a lot of O or I or U words. Um, or unless I could build off the B and build like ob. So what? Oh my gosh, itemizer. You're right. That's plays. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Uh. What? Io dure. Eturdi. What? Excuse me? Uh, Fancy Collins Anagrams. Oh my goodness. What in the world? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Eturdi. Have I seen... I... I couldn't have seen that played on stream yet. Feels like it's one of those... Anyway. Yeah. There's a lot of fun words in this game. Um, Udo. Duo. See, so yeah, Udo and Duo... Like, itemize is right here. I have a D. If my goal is to play DU, Udo and Duo and all that should occur to me. Uh, 
A turdine. Well, it's got turd in it. You gotta know that one. Wait, I was just explaining how I don't have routine, and it's right there. Okay, that's a bit embarrassing. Um, what did I play? I played Doe, which obviously is not valid. Um, wait, how quickly did I play this? Uh, eight seconds. Oh, wait, no, that was a typo. I took it back. He, well, whatever. He played down here. I thought he passed. He actually played. And I played what I intended to play, which is also invalid. Um, yeah, so the rest of the game is kind of a blur. I think we should probably just move on to game two. Um... Cantle, Rue, Prowl, yeah, okay. And then Otter is clever. On, Nectron, yeah. Wait, I timed out with two seconds remaining to try to play anything here. Yeah, that wasn't going to happen. Um... Wait, okay, yeah, Nectron does appear here, as I expected. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could see things that way. So, if I'm going through this game list... Okay, that's game one. Should we take a look at game two? Um, this is where this ended. Uh, time penalty, time penalty, but the game actually did reach a conclusion. Um, yeah, so... Buffino. Um, no idea what to do here. I kind of wish there were like some French word for beef, like B O E F, both or something, but I don't know. Um, I want to play the F, the O, the B, preferably one of my doubled eyes. Uh, actually, it's more important to play one of the eyes than anything else, but F I B would have been fine. But there's got to be something better. Um, I kind of give up on looking for a word here. Oh. Alright, so Bonnie is playable, but otherwise Fib is just fine. Alright, thank you very much. Have a good night. B-O-E-U-F. Yeah, yeah, I'm missing a U for beef. I felt like I was missing the letter. I just couldn't remember if it was another E or a U or what. That's nice. It's a good one to know, too. Um, Alright, so we played Fib, which is good. They played O. <sighs> this... Mm -hmm. We've got I-E-S as a suffix. Uh, I don't think I have any word... Um, yeah, if I had an A instead of an I, I feel like I would have something here. Um, <laughs> and I don't think the B makes this any easier. We've got bingos. Bingoist. The one who's got the best bingo, or the thing that is most bingo-ish. Bingoist. Um, yeah, I don't know. Sadly, uh, yep, stuff like this. So, oh ho, is good to know. Saving up for a bingo next turn.
Um, yeah, playing this, I don't know. Tomato, tomato. Obviously, the further we go down the list, the worse the equity is. Although the leaves are kind of interesting, but yeah, whatever. We can nitpick this play all day. I played my S, which was terrible. Uh, I was afraid of the board freezing up, but there's nothing to fear here. Um, yeah. They played Dueller and Aegis. I think I challenged and it's all valid. Oh, sorry. I played Denoted. Um, which is okay. Uh, feels like it's the only place to play a word. Like, playing something across to the L seems reasonable. I just didn't see a way to get rid of my duplicated letters and play from the L, or to the L. Uh, whoa. End note. Okay. This, this game is teasing me. So, last round we had, um, duetted. This game, we've got Endnote. Seems like I've got some music terms to learn. Wow. That's awesome. Wait, bonneted? Really? That's here? A double N, E-T-E-D. Oh, E-D is a common suffix. Okay. Um, Donnie. Nice. Yeah, some of these things are obviously harder to find than others. Bonneted should stand out. Um, and note is clever. And it's worth knowing. Uh, that's cool. So, we played Denoted. Man, I was not patient. How long did I spend on this play? I, sp I spent 13 seconds playing Denoted. It's not even the best play. It's okay, but it really isn't. <laughs> Panieri. Alright, and then here I don't have a U. I don't have a U, so I can't play Quay. Um... Yeah, this is just sad. I think I started phonying. No, I played a Q here. Rather than worry about maybe holding on to it and looking for better plays, I just played it off. Um, Did not expect a bingo after they just played six letters. That's unfortunate, but it'll happen from time to time. Um... And yeah, here's the point where I need to come back uh, and do something clever. But I've got Va, V A W. Um, that's about it. Wavy. I played Wavy, right? Wavy's got to be reasonable. Um, also, when I played Chin here, what did I miss? All right. Yeah, Sinovia would have been great. Chins over here. Oh. Okay. Saying, okay, you might get some awesome play over here, but I can score on the other side of the board. That's an interesting idea. Uh, Yeah, this is something I was trying to find earlier as a way to play Vivo or Vino or maybe I'm even thinking of last game. But an S play on Dueler, duh, of course. I gotta read the entire board. Um, even cheese here would have been better. Yeah, this is how you use an S. Use it or lose it. Don't hold on to it forever. Um, yeah. So what did we miss here? I wonder. Yeah, no, we played Wavy. Wavy was decent. The vow is as risky, but we're down by almost, or down by 150, so uh, some chances are worth taking. But here, a vow's 
Uh, drops six points and drops quite a bit in equity, apparently. Oh, because I'm getting rid of the S if I'm playing there. Yeah, the S has a high equity. It needs to be used correctly. Maybe that's the big takeaway here is uh, use the letters correctly. Not, don't just balance the rack. Um, so I played Coax. Um, I did look and see like if he had somehow foolishly left a space that I could drop the X on. Uh, I did not see any such space. Mux. Okay. Well, that's got to be our top play, right? Uh, well, okay. I mean, yeah, there is that, which is tremendously risky, but again, high variance is what we need here. Mux is definitely uh, something I should have found. Yeah, I've got an entire book of musical terms. I should just skim through it sometime. Um, yeah. Yeah, Wavy was good. Mux is a, a very good play. Wavy does score well. It's not the easiest play to find. It is the best play in that position, but this... Um, now that I finally have this chance, I, sh I need to find it. Um, I missed it. I played Coax, which that drops... I burned up an... Oh, yeah, I still have my S. Coax-er. <laughs> oh, no. He's got an S, and he plays Coaxer. at the idea of using the S later. Um, and if I had letters here, I could punish such hubris, but, um, yuck. Yeah, I've misplayed this poorly. Yumps is the way to get out of this. Yeah, you learn some of these words, uh, for experience. Um, mumps, or, wait, yeah, okay, I do have letters for mumps. I don't know yumps, but now I do. But yeah, mumps is something I could have found. I was so obsessed on trying to score a bingo. And I played some phony, didn't I? Or did I just exchange? I exchanged. Um, even here, I didn't see sangria. Not really. That's not at all how you spell sangria. But, um, Genoa? Really? Interesting. That's acceptable. Okay. Um, yeah. Goal with an E? That's cool. Goer, ado, ego, goal, etc. So, oh, and a gone. Huh. Yeah, this would have been a decent player, even gone without the leading A. Gone is something I could have found. Yeah, wait. A gone without an E is playable. Uh, but that leaves me with a double E. Uh, I'm not sure why I thought A gone was valid, but um, it is. Maybe I've seen it played earlier. All right, a Genoa is a large triangular sail, also Jenny. Huh. I don't know Italian pronunciation, but that's cool. And so yeah, now we have our beef word, which would have played fantastically down here. I mean, yeah, it opens some space, but I mean, it's obviously the best play if I can just figure out how to spell it. Yeah, so... Um, Bufo, Buff, yeah, it's all over the place. Gotta know your beef. Um, that spot got taken. Uh, wait, is beef hog a word or something? I mean, it, it never plays, but gotta know. Alright, what, what kind of madness do we have here? 
Yeah, I've just done so poorly balancing my rack that I just have to play one of these tough fine words. Yeah, fee there is nice. Um, I know I mentioned I had an interest in looking here and trying to find words, but um, that's actually kind of kind of counterproductive. I should just play more games instead of trying to find all the words here, although I could come back to this at a later point and see how much I remember. Um, but yeah, at present I'm just um, not awake enough to spend my time searching for everything. But yeah, playing FOH in some way would have been very strong. Uh, I burned up all my good letters and I cry. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, is there any miracle play to get out of this mess? No. Would it matter if there were? Not really. Oh, I did play Biz. That's decent. Um, yeah, there's still nowhere to... Yeah, my opponent has a pretty good idea what kind of letters I have. It's They're planning around it already. Um, there's nothing I can do to overcome such a strong opponent in this position. Yeah. Okay, that's, yeah, good point. That's a good point. I'm in such an excitement to get to the next puzzle. Um, hmm. Well, I'm struggling with what I do now. Because, um, as uh, much as I do want to do this in a puzzle fashion, and these are extraordinary puzzle positions because um, my opponent's reading the entire board and mitigating risk across all of it, despite not knowing my letters. Um, yeah, maybe this would be a good time for me to break from this session and we could watch games or something. So, for those who came for game analysis, thanks uh, a lot for this analysis. It's been interesting, and I think I'll pick it up again tomorrow.